going on, ECX Beatles? Rexy here. I'm back. I'm black. I'm back. And I'm playing another one. This is one Grandmasters Division Duel Not to Zero up against Osiris. I'm not sure this matchup goes, because I've played it once before. What the. Oh my lord. I am not going to be able to write that name. As you can see, I've got a little bit of time on this god. Okay, this guy's in Donnie Race Clan, so he knows what's up. I don't know if I want to start a potion, because Osiris' early game is just insane. I might go with, like, this sort of thing, you know? And just play super passive. Because the thing about Freya is, the reason she's not doing... She was okay at the start of the season, but now, like, mid-season... She's like, okay, just because it's so hard for her to get online, right? Like, she needs to get online if she's to do anything, and getting there is very difficult to do. Because usually, like, people can out-farm you and, you know, force you back so you can't get any farm whatsoever, so... They, f they fuck you out of farm and stuff, and it really sucks. I'm really... I'm not a big fan of the the re-skin thing, like, the fact that they're redoing the entire skin. Just because I've always loved this skin, the T2, and the new T2 doesn't really look that good. It's always been my favorite out of all the skins. And they're redoing it, which is... it sucks, in my opinion. But, we'll get a game before it and after, so we'll see. He's gonna go Death Toll, Sprint. He went Sprint as well. So I'm just gonna use my two as much as I can, and then I'm gonna back off. Because I have no pressure here whatsoever. Osiris early game with the Death Toll, there's no kill potential here, like, in the slightest. Damn. And they actually, they, they fixed Freya's too. It used to not last that long. Like, it's supposed to last for, like... A certain amount of time. It's supposed to last for, I think it was six seconds. And it didn't actually for a really long time. It just didn't. It lasted. See, right there, it would have stopped. It wouldn't have worked. I've always noticed it, but I've never really done anything about it. So he's gonna try and force up my blue, I'm guessing. I'm gonna lose a bit of gold here, but it's not a huge deal. Your middle tower is under attack. As much gold as possible. Force him off of it, not a huge deal. I only lost one archer, I'm not not that huge of a deal. I just want to keep this, uh, this early game as normal as possible without death, because I need to get into mid game if I'm going to do absolutely anything. I think he's going to try and pressure out red. He's probably going to get it regardless, but. sucks. There's no sense in even trying to engage him here. That's, that sucks. There goes my wave clear. But as long as I play pretty passive here, I think I should be fine. It kind of sucks that I have to, but it, I am Freya, right? And Osiris is meant for early game, basically. I could probably reset it, actually. If I do it right. Really, that didn't that didn't take it. Interesting. Not a huge deal to me. I mean, if he decides to die, me. I mean, but a mana though. I would have engaged him, but I didn't have any mana. So whatever. I can back for full tier Fatalis here. It's fantastic. I almost stole the blue. It sucks that I didn't actually get it. So he's gonna be snowballing a little hard. If I'd have gotten that, that'd have been really good for me. But now he's gonna. Quite a bit ahead, but it's not a huge deal. I think once we get to mid game, I think I can win this. I just gotta make sure to time my stuff properly. Make sure I don't play too stupid. Your middle tower is under attack. Just gotta be careful, you know? Probably should win this. That lasts for so long now, it's insane. I don't have any pressure here. I don't even know why he's backing off. I have no pressure here. I do a bit of damage, but compared to his mitigations and stuff like that, he's rushing a soul eater actually. Let's get some booties. So he's rushing a soul eater, which is what Osiris is always do, because his life steal is just 
phenomenal. It's like, oh my god, it's insane. But he's not pressuring all that much, so I can get all this gold and stuff, so that's good. Good stuff. That's what I need. God, this two lasts forever, man. It's awesome. I'm maxing my two because I just need to keep my distance. It's 25% slow, so it's always good. gonna back. He's probably gonna finish his soul eater here or come to actually probably only tier two right now. I'd like to back off just because within the next engagement red will be up and I could probably contest it. Yeah he only got T2. I should be able to make it back in time before red spawns. I think we got like eight seconds. I think I'm good. And the thing about Freya's Banish is I can reset him uh, and buffs if I do it right. He is quite a great deal ahead now, so I've got to be real careful. Just keep my din my my din distance, my distance. Fucking stupid, man! I reset it to like that low, that really sucks. I should have just gotten off of it, honestly. I got it down to one hit before I banished it. I'm starting to do some damage here. Once I get pen boots, I'll look to engage him. But for now, I have to play real passive. Blue's coming up. I think he's just backing for Soul Eater. I'm just gonna let him. Okay, good. I can get blue, get pen boots, and I should be able to engage him now. The thing about Freya is I've always built her like huge bursts. Like, I don't know why people ever go cooldown boots. People used to go cooldown boots on her, and I'm like, why? <laughs> you should be going full burst with her. Empower my blade. So shit. I'm gonna go this into a demonic, I think. Or it's all kinds. Probably a demonic, though. Let me just check my blue. I'm I can look to engage him here now. I'd like to go with Bancroft this game as well. Freya's natural life steal is also really good. It's the Soul Eater, I've got to watch out. He's actually got mitigations here. There we go. Great. Whew, that was a risky engagement. If I'd have lost that, shit would have been difficult for me from this point on, but thank god we got the kill. I might be able to pressure his blue here if it's up. I think it's up. Whatever, I'm gonna miss a bit of wave, but it's better to... He's already losing this XP. I don't know if I'm gonna really get this in time, actually. Probably gonna have to sprint away. Or just run. My base movement speed's higher. I've got Fatalis as well. He's missing a bit of wave. Yeah, that's fine. Good for me. And get demonic here. And I'll probably get some defense as well. I'll probably go cooldown plate. Because he's, he's doing a lot of ability based damage. And it'd be nice to have a bit of cooldown. Like, I know I said cooldown isn't that big of a deal, but if I'm to get defense, it's probably more worth it trying to uh, get a cooldown plate for the, the banish to come up as often as possible, as well as my 2 and my 1. Oh, he just finished back in there. Damn. Red's he just backed? Really? Why would he back? Free red, not bad. I'm almost completely caught up. This wave will probably get me 100% caught up. Yeah, I played a lot of Freya last season. I remember, I'm pretty sure I'm in like the top 10 for most kills, so they're in duel still. <laughs> To this day, because I played her so much, she was like half the reason I got to uh, to Masters last season. He actually popped off his two for mitigations there, which makes sense. 
God, that two lasts so long from before. I should play her more in duel. She's actually really fun. Man, we were just rolling. We're steamrolling back into this game. I, was, he, I think he back to finish Bancross or something. Because he just realized how much damage I have. Oh, no, he's finishing uh, Kins, it seems. No biggie. What ifs? Alright, let's go. Maybe we'll go in the mean, but I don't know. I, I think... I think it'd be a better idea if um I want a cooldown play. Also, I'm in love and thorns this season. Holy shit. Like I used to hate it last season, but now that I'm like more intelligent when it comes to engagements, like I use thorns and I know how to play around thorns so much better now because I pay attention to it, right? Like last season I was just a little I was a fucking idiot. Okay, I'm in a bad spot here. No. See now that was a bad Example of it, <laughs> but I'm really not doing all that much damage right now just purely because I'm an idiot Because he had so many uh, I'm not an idiot. He just has so many of his uh base uh, his passive, you know with the mitigations along with this three it's like Ow, I'm gonna wait for a hundred gold. I don't see why not He's gonna get his blue regardless, so I don't really care. Get a cooldown plate. And then we'll get... Uh, I was thinking Bancrofts, but like, maybe damage would be a better idea. Like, I could go an Obsidian Shard into... Um, an Obvious Shard into a Rod, I'm thinking. That's what I used to build all the time. This sort of build. I don't know, there's a lot of things I could build here in this, this position. A lot of things I could do. I'll work around it, see what I see what I like, see what I don't like. The timer on this. As long as I stay at a tether range, I should be able to just freely poke him. Tells passives a little down. Okay, and my two's up again. Yeah, with this cooldown play, I think it was way worth it. So I got a free red here, because there's no way he's gonna get here without me bursting it down in time. I'm gonna go into Obsidian Shard next just to get all that pen. We can get second tier here since we can sell our Vampy Shreve. Awesome. Let's see how much damage we do now. Blue's gonna be up here any second now. We're both level 14. It's relatively even, but in these engagements I seem to be winning. I can see why full cooldown would be good, but like maybe it maybe a bit of cooldown. Shit, I should not have gotten so close. Soul Eater proc, and he's gonna back off. I'm gonna force FG here, actually. Sounded like he stopped backing, but he's either gotta go to wave or come to me, and I think I can burst this down quick enough because I have a lot of damage. Yeah, I have so much damage right now, it's insane. Yeah, I got this for free. Awesome. I think he knows it as well. He was just backing. He's backing to either finish Kins or his defense. I'm gonna guess defense at this point because he sees me going all this pen. I think he's just checking blue because he heard me on it. Focus archers. Damn it, I missed one. The gold. Okay, we're going through a shard into a rod. I don't give a shit. Empower my blade. I think this build works really well versus Osiris. <clears throat> the shell, or the uh, fucking shell, the thorns. Counters them pretty well in these engagements if I use it properly, because my burst is just so insane. Where'd you go, huh? Where'd you go? Okay. Suppose we could just press your tower. 
My tower at damage is just absolutely shit, though. Where is he? Oh, he's doing his blue, probably. Or he went to finish an item, and he knew his tower was dead either way, so... So, okay, I got a soul, a soul Eater proc, so that's, that's awesome. What I like to try and do is pop my 2 off before I use the 2-1 combo. Ooh, I see what I'm... Come on, baby, let's go. I'm like 800% ready to dive your ass, I'm just saying. No, he just backed. Ooh, his blue's still up, awesome. See, so yeah, at this point, this is like, if Freya can get to late game, you can see how much she does. But getting there is just such a problem. It's so difficult to do a lot of the times. I don't know why he's not finishing his defense with all my pen. Maybe he's going for the burst, but I don't think it's the best idea, personally. That's just my opinion. Okay, yeah, he surrendered. Yeah, I kind of knew it was over as well. But anyway, if you enjoyed, please give me a like. Want to see? Ugh, want to see me play a different god? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, I will see you next time, guys. Have a good one.